does the redevelopment of Allen Ave, do you assume that we are selling that property? That is the initial starting position, but I think the town actually is open to um, any potential uh, venues because you know property is a valuable commodity that the town has, and if there's a lease structure uh, that might be beneficial to the town, we would consider that. If we were to sell town property, are there restrictions on what you can do with the proceeds from the sale itself? Wait, there is a restriction on how it goes in and then how it can be spent. Uh, but that's just a one-time sale of that particular property that does not impact uh, the tax revenue that is generated from that property. Is there any talk of either not keeping scribble time for some reason or raising what they, what they presently there's no discussion on our part to increase it at this point. Um, there's no discussion that we've initiated that does not include scribble time in this facility. We, we, uh, scribble time, I think, plays a vital role in the community, right? Uh, we knew that going in. We did not want to disrupt child care within the community and force a long time uh, child care provider to now look for another home on short notice I we think that this is going to be a long-term relationship with scribble time safe to say that that the estimate for reconstructing Allen Ave bringing Allen Ave up to code is under even this larger 4.7 for almost 4.8 million dollar cost the estimate for construction pre-COVID was at $4.7 million. So add 20, 25% to that, you're probably close to $7 million pre-COVID, post-COVID, and, and construction spike dollars, where we're seeing uh, a 30% increase, but you're closer to probably eight, $9 million before it was said and done. To everybody that's listening, to all the residents of town, that this was federal dollars through the American Rescue Plan Act, right, that it cost the tax credit. But to sit here and say that it's not going to cost the taxpayers in the future dollars, that, I would be, that would be misleading on my part, because there are. But what you're seeing is the value of this potential procurement by the sale and the tax revenue generated by Allen Avenue, the maintaining of the tenant of scribble time in there uh, produces, and the savings year after year of the not paying the rent to the Commonwealth for the use of the current senior center, a really a revenue in my opinion a revenue neutral uh, you know self maintaining type of facility so although this is primarily a regional food center uh, will the seniors have more room here than they do presently they will have much more room and it'll all be on the same uh, floor level I move that we send measure 2024-018 uh, to see if the town council will appropriate the sum of two million two hundred thirty eight thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars for the purchase for the purpose of purchasing the property located at 451 Elm Street North Attleboro to the full town council with a positive recommendation. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed. One. One. Abstaining? No one. Motion carries four to one.